Hey guys, Avi here, and welcome back to The Codex. In this video, I'm gonna be continuing our Python and Flask series, and I'll be teaching you all about web forms in Flask. Let's get started. First thing first, guys, before I even jump into web forms, there's one module that you need to install, and that is Flask-WTF. And this Flask module, or this Python module, allows us to integrate WT forms and web forms in general very nicely into Flask. So go ahead and head to your terminal, and as you can see that I've already installed it, but just go ahead and say pip install and then flask dash WTF. Again, depending on your version, you might have to specify pip three or pip two. Just go ahead and install it and make sure that you have flask dash WTF installed. Anyways, guys, once that is done, the next step that I want you to take is go ahead and set a secret key to your app. So over here, I'm gonna go ahead and say app.config secret key secret underscore key and then this should be equal to some random key or something that allows us to configure our flask application this is essential if we want to go ahead and create our form and get it up and running so in this scenario i'm just going to go ahead and set it equal to the codex um this again should be something that should be secret something that's randomly generated but for now this is totally fine anyways once that is done guys we need to go ahead and create our form so the way Flash as WTF works is we need to create a class that represents the form we're trying to make. In this scenario, I'm going to create a sign up form for users to sign up to. So I'm going to create a new file, new file, Python file called forms. And inside of this, I'm going to go ahead and create my very own sign up form. So I'm going to say from Flask underscore WTF import Flask form from WT forms import a string field import a password field, import a submit field. So what's actually happening here, guys, is WT forums have different sort of types of fields. You can have string, which is just normal text, password field for passwords, a submit field, the button that people click on to submit the form. Now, once that's been specified, guys, we're gonna go ahead and create our signup form. Class signup form comes from the Flask form inheritance, and then we're gonna specify our fields. So inside of our signup form, I'm gonna have the signup person give us a user, give us a password and then submit the form. So username is equal to string field. And then all you have to do is pass, if I pass the placeholder or the name or the label the field should have. In this scenario, username. Same thing, password is equal to password field and then password. And then last but not least, submit is equal to submit field and then sign up, okay? So this is a very simple and efficient way to create your very own sign up form in Flask. Now, once that's done guys, we need to go ahead and actually create the HTML for this. How do we render this form in our very own site? So I'm gonna go ahead and create a new HTML file and I'm gonna call this sign up. And this HTML file will extend our base.html. So this should extends base.html. And then it's also gonna use the block content. So percent block content, percent, and then the same thing over here, percent and block. Okay, so once we've done that guys, we need to go ahead and create our form. I'm gonna go ahead and say over here, H2, sign up. And then after that, I'm gonna create my form. So form action should be blank for now. Method should be post. Again, that's what the form should be doing. And then inside of this form, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and create three different fields. Now, the way this is gonna work is we're gonna create an object of the signup form class. We're gonna pass that form object into this view using Jinja. And then once we have that form object, we're gonna refer to form.username, form.password, form.submit, the three fields that we created right over here, and we'll call them right here. So inside of a P tag, in order to like space things out, I'm gonna say, form the variable we're going to pass in dot username dot label and then i'm going to put a break tag and then i'm going to say form dot username which is going to be the actual field and then i'm going to specify the size how big it should be 30. all right so this is the first way we can do this where we integrate form dot username same thing for password same thing for submit okay so go ahead and make this password password and then for our submit field we can go ahead and say form dot submit okay so very very straightforward guys form action method post create the entire form just like this 
The last thing we have to do guys is we need to render this template from our server.py. So go to server.py and let's create our new route app.route pass in sign up. And then inside of this guys, we're going to go ahead and create a new function sign up that will create our sign up form where in this scenario we have to import it. So from forms.py, we're going to import our sign up form and then we're going to create a form object is equal to sign up form. And once we do that, guys, the last step is to just render our template. We've done that so many times. Return render template. We're going to pass in over here sign up.html. And then we're going to say form is equal to form. So this form app object that we were using over here, form not using name, etc., that's actually going to be coming from the sign up form. And the sign up form has all of this stuff already done for us. Fantastic job. Let's go ahead and save this. Everything seems to be in order. Let's see if this works. Control Shift R. Let's go ahead and go to the server. Let me close that. Let's go to slash blog. We're at the home page. And now let's go to slash sign up. And fantastic. All these blog, home, sign up, username, and password. And now you can click on the sign up button. Now, currently nothing happens. We'll work on adding that functionality in the next video. Thanks so much for listening, guys. In this video, you learned how to create and set up your very own HTML form using flask-wtf. Thanks so much for listening, guys. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.